Welcome back to another valve seat cutting video. Uh, this is the current system I use. This is a Ira VGX 21 table and valve seat cutter. Let's move the brush out of the way. Uh, so, Give a brief overview of how it works. So it's a bench, got some drawers in the front, some wheels, it's got a storage area there, and a tray to pick up all the sort. It has a revolving, I slacken these, a revolving table, which when I slacken it off, I can turn the table to any position that I want and also it will handle any sort of angle of valve by angling the top plate. So it is it's very similar to the older Myra systems. Uh, it has a ball that's actually hydraulically locked with this wheel here, but also it allows the ball to move laterally as well. It uses a pilot system, which is held in with a grub screw. So pilots here, I think this is the FG series pilot. So they've got a flat, which goes into that section there, available in different sizes, and uses all the normal Myra cutters. I suppose the only thing is you need to have quite a lot of pilots and cutters to uh, make the system work. Um, so we're just going to cut a three angle seat on this mini head there uh, and there's a vacuum tester to vacuum test the valve seat once you've cut it uh, and also there's a motor drive which has this long flexible shaft to a motor uh, two speed switch on the side makes uh, cutting valve seat recesses much easier. Uh, let's go ahead and cut the seat. So with the magnet in place, the cutter is suspended above the seat with this high control ring. Then there's an adjustment screw just so you can make sure the cutter is not touching the seat when you set it. You need to have a a pilot that's quite accurate in the guide to make the system work really and then there's the magnetic base locking arm and hydraulic lock for the main spindle to hold everything in place and then this is the depth ring which drops the cutter down uh, onto the existing seat. And let's try and cut that. Don't know how steady this will be when I'm cutting, but let's put the power drive on and check the seat. So that is the seat. That's a 60. Try and get some focus on it. A 60, 45, and a 30 on the top. Uh, let's see how the valve likes it. So 
Um, it's like a pretty good seat. Usually if the valve bounces, it means it's making good contact with the seat all the way around. Let's check it with the vacuum seal. Just cut the other seat. These are new valves, but obviously the guides are a bit old. So it probably won't get a perfect seal. Let's just switch that on. seat cutting with the Myra VG21.